What's up y'all, Blade from Red Eclipse here, bringing you this war recap from this arranged matchup we just had with Holder Clashers. Uh, it was a really awesome war. Um, heartbreaking, barely losing it in the end, uh, but we, we put up a really good fight um, and are pretty, pretty proud of our performance. Obviously we had a huge hero deficit, which you know we knew would be troublesome going in, but uh, you know, we overcame that for the most part, made it really close, you know, definitely different from the last time we went into one of these with that gigantic hero deficit, but, but anyways, uh, you know, missed the two star in the town hall 10, town hall 10, which would have, um, you know, which could have, you know, gotten us that extra star, but this is what it is, just, uh, missed a few places, had some bad cleanup, you know, I mean, leaving, let's see, what do we got? These three, yeah, I think just those three Town Hall 9s there in the middle, uh, kind of kind of rough. You know, those are, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of these higher ones were, were left, but these middle ones, you know, it's kind of rough leaving a couple of those on the board. But, but oh well, so be it. Uh, let's get into a couple of replays. You know, if we got Oost um, doing a Dragon Raid plus Queen Walk here against their number three. Oost is definitely one of our best hitters. Uh, been doing great work ever since he joined us. Uh, so here we go, showing this off. Starting with the Queen up top. Get some wall breakers to get her inside there. Uh, so she's going to go in, take out the Archer Tower, this air defense, the Sweeper. I think she's going to get... Both sweepers actually, and then a second air defense, which is you know obviously pretty huge. Zap quakes this top air defense over here. So now we got two of them down. Uh, where is okay? Yeah, so the fourth one is over way over here on the right. Once his once his queen or yeah once his queen makes her way over here, takes down that last one. We'll be pretty much ready to start seeing the uh, drags come in. So then he also, second part of the raid here, he takes his king, uh, gets a couple wall breakers going in there, and pops his king ability to run and tear down that air defense really quick, uh, which worked out great. So now three air Ds down. All that's really left that he's got to worry about are the heroes, and which he's just going to handle with drags. And then he uh, takes down this Lava Hound with his queen, Poison some of those pups down, help her out. She cleans up the rest pretty quickly. Um, and <laughs> moves over to that gold sword. So hopefully hopefully she pops back, I guess. I know, yeah, okay, there it is, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Pops back, takes down that final air defense. And, you know, he's got a hound to go in, soak up a few traps here and there. And, uh, you know... Just a bunch of dragons to run through the rest of the base and tear it down. Uh, Hound's going to get a lot of benefit here, soaking up um, some damage from that Tesla area. You know, meanwhile, I mean, yeah, his dragons just slowly work the way across the base. Going to go ahead and speed it up because the rest is, is pretty straightforward. Not a lot left that even could threaten his drags. Um, his queen is still alive and well, running around. Uh, destroying some stuff as well. Um, Hound continuing to soak up uh, some traps here and there. Three da three dragons left. You know, all that's left at this point is the uh, Wiz Tower and Archer Tower up there. You know, and that's just not going to be enough to stop him from getting it done. So awesome hit, Oost. Great job, man. Next we got Beast on Mike. Mike is one of the leaders at Holder Clashers. Uh, pretty cool dude. All right, so Beast starting in with his Queen Walk here. <clears throat> He's continuing to work her up a little bit. She's out, but 26, which is pretty legit. 
Uh, but anyways, just going to queen walk this top area to get both heroes. Uh, which works out nicely here. Just going to take down that king. Uh, Tesla starts getting on her, so he's got to... Getting real close there. He pops the ability. <coughs> which obviously you know, would have been nice to be able to hold on to that for once he was dealing with the actual queen. Uh, but he drops a poison on the queen and drops a rage then to make sure his queen will stay alive and slow down that defending queen from hurting her. But yeah, mini Tesla farm there to uh, slow him down a little bit. But he got it all taken care of. And uh, that portion of the raid is, is over with for the most part. So it starts in with two golems then down here on the bottom left. Uh, it's going to take the kill squad in there, wreck a couple double giant bomb spots. And before just hogging into the rest. Wall breaks in right there. Golems start making their way in. He's got the king uh, going down to do some damage, some more tanking and whatnot, and uh, just wreck right through this space. Queen's still alive. You know, hopping into these chambers, taking taking some stuff down. Uh, drops that jump nicely in there to that double giant bomb comp. Except like, oh, there wasn't a double. There wasn't a double there. Interesting. I can't remember. This this might have been a fresh hit, and these are just sort of guesses, and he kind of... Whatever, but hits some bombs in there with that Tesla. Kill squad starting to run out of juice with that hound in there. But he's starting in with the hogs. Send in just a couple cogs on the bottom where... You know, the point defenses were being tanked by the golems. So that one hog, you know, just goes in, gets a couple of defenses for free. Ends up tripping a double giant bomb set. Uh, so it gets a lot of great value out of that, which is really nice. And then as this last uh, two pack of, packs of hogs converge, take down the final defenses and just into the cleanup from there. Sort of leaves the hound up, which, you know, hounds... Don't do a whole lot to harm hog grades, so works out pretty nicely for him on that one. Alright, who we got next? Nick uh, did an awesome job for us. He was a sleuth that came by to help us out. Uh, so here we got Effin Rage, one of our newer members, going in. He's been bomb when it comes to uh, air attacking for us. So <clears throat> him and Z, they're our air guys. The rest of us still trying to take note, learn their ways. Uh -huh. But uh, happy to let them do the dirty work from the air for us. So it comes in here, a nice little shattered uh, kill squad heading in there. If he doesn't have huge heroes, he's got you know pretty decent heroes, but you know this defending base has gigantic heroes, and uh, you know no big deal. Pops hero abilities, drops a rage down there on him, and uh, his kill squad just runs in, gets both the king and queen, uh, and is going to come in here, and let's see, I believe it gets. Both of these air defense, yeah, so the first air defense goes down. Uh, Golem's still going, you know, just Golemites at this point, doing a little bit of tanking. Queen, uh, just doing some work around the side here, not penetrating into the base like, you know, like he'd originally completely wanted. But he got those two air defenses down, which was, you know, the most important piece of the raid. So he starts in now with his uh, hounds and loons coming in from behind. So sending those two hounds in at different angles, soak up a few traps, uh, which is working out pretty well. Loons falling in right behind to get stuff done. This is one set of red bombs, which you know hurt a little bit, but uh, even so, he was able to get the first arity down. Hounds make their way over to the last one. Uh, they're going to do some tanking there while loons get to that, and uh, they're going to tank for that Tesla trap as well while loons make their way over and finally finish that off. Still had a couple loons left for the back end to take out this one final spot. And that hound is just continuing to tank the entire raid. Really, really great attack. Uh, that last hound, I don't think ever does pop. 
Uh, only this one wizard tower remains. Oh yeah, so it soaks up a couple traps on its way to that wizard tower. That's how it pops, and that's how it uh, finally gets a few more pups out there for cleanup. Most of them die to the wizard tower, but loons finally get over there and uh, finish that off. And then it's just uh, a few cleanup buildings to go. So, awesome hit, man. Thanks for bringing it for us and getting that three star. Even gets to swag some poisons. Alright, and then Nathaniel, also another newer member, uh, does a really nice job here uh, with another dragon raid. So dragon raids are definitely becoming more viable at Town Hall 9. Uh, it's really the... Um, it, I don't know, it has to do with a lot of things. Uh, I want to say a lot of times it's the dragon raids come into play when uh, you can... When the base is a good candidate for zap quaking a few ADs. Uh, this one that's a little different. It's just it was just really easy to get at quite a few of the um, of the air defenses. So he takes advantage of that. Goes in and gets those. He's certain with this queen walk here. Uh, queen getting a little low in health. Pops her ability while uh, all those archers and wizards come over and start um, hurting him a little bit. But wisely drops a wizard to. Take down a couple of those archers uh, before they do too much damage on his healers. Queen keeps walking, starts heading into the base where he was looking for. Uh, drops a quad quake down to just give her more access to the base. So really right now, I mean, she could, uh, if there were enough time, probably walk in and you know snipe all of those air defenses. Realistically, I don't think that's how it's going to go down. Um, We'll see in a second. I can't can't quite remember everything about how this raid goes. She's still working her way around. Oh yeah, here. So sends in a small little kill squad up up to the top here to get this other one, uh, which is a really nice touch. He's gonna go in, send his king in there, gonna take down that top air defense. And he's already got one of these lower ones. Taking down the second of the two lower ones. So yeah, just two more air defenses left at this point. Uh, good timing with that rage on his queen to keep her up as she deals with a couple Teslas, and boom, you know, perfectly moves on, targets that last air defense, starts deploying his dragons. Uh, his king goes up, takes out the defending queen, ends up dying, but a wizard comes in and finishes off that air defense while his golems are doing some tanking. So now it's just uh, dragons in for the rest of the raid. Speed that up a little bit while. Uh, they move on, drops a little jump spell to get his queen over a couple walls and to take out a few more things. King goes in, locks in on her, but no big deal. Dragons help her out a little bit. Take that queen, that king down, and she just keeps on working her way around, sniping off a couple more buildings here and there. Rages up those dragons to get through that last patch of defenses and just finishes this raid with a ton of dragons left. Really awesome hit, man. Who knew dragons could be so effective? Alright, so I'm going to show one of mine here. Um, did a pretty nice Govaho. Only level 2 Valks. Um, but, you know, even level 2 Valks are not, <laughs> not too terrible. Get the job done, for me anyways. Uh, so I open up the base here. The goal is, I kind of just want to take this path right through the center and get over to that defending queen. She's going to hop over that wall into the comp where the um, uh, where that expo and whiz tower are and that's where my king is going to engage and kill her so start in make a nice wide funnel which is always necessary for the valks breaking the walls you know once that whiz tower goes down all my golems reroute into the center deploy the valks um, got my qu my queen down king now following in and headed into the center Bunch of Teslas pop, drop this heal just in time to keep these Valks up so they can do some tanking while they work their way through. Uh, four Teslas and some CC troops, uh, but they get the job done nicely. 
all that stuff starts going down and they keep working their way in. Uh, again, I use just a couple of hogs to follow in along the right hand side. Most defenses over there are targeting my kill squad, so uh, the hogs were getting you know tanked for nicely and able to take down just a couple defenses. Meanwhile, kill squad goes in, finishes their job at the queen, pop the king ability, take her down. Um, hogs were coming in along the left hand side, got caught by a, a bomb, actually a double set that I wasn't totally expecting. Uh, so lost quite a few hogs to that in the end, even though I had a heal spell down, just didn't, uh, it was kind of a tough spot, but fortunately I had quite a few hogs left over for the back end. And they move in and take down the rest of the, fence, the defenses with ease. Queen's still walking around, sniping some stuff, and now just into the cleanup. <clears throat> But it works out really nicely that uh, you know it ends up only being one double on this base. This was a fresh hit. Um, was able to pretty much avoid. Actually, I think there were two doubles. I think I just avoided the one with the way my kill squad went in and eliminated the pathing issues for the other one, but still lost a couple hogs there to uh, to that even so. Um. Let's see. Uh, yeah, all right. I think I think that's all that I was planning on showing for this one. Uh, really awesome war. Uh, Holder Clashers, a good group of guys. Definitely had a lot of fun going in against them. I don't know what just happened, but eh, whatever. That's the end. So. Log back in, get into view that war map again, but really great war. Definitely uh, had a great time warring those guys, so I'm not going to wait for this all to completely load. But anyways, uh, until then, I'll get you with another recap soon. Until then, peace.